Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is Get Actor Eyes Viewpoint. So we're going to go ahead and run through a quick little example here, and you're going to see some numbers at the top of the screen. So the top is our position of where our actor's eye viewpoint is, and the bottom is the rotation of it. And we're going to start moving it around, and you can see it rotating around the character. And then when we move the character, you're going to notice it moving the position, and when we jump up and down, you notice it changing. Now the one thing you'll notice, though, as I move the camera, notice how the position of the eye point does not move. So looking at the note itself, the get actor's eyes viewpoint, it takes in an actor. Now depending on the actor, if it's got a camera, or if it's a character, or it's a pawn, it's going to be different information. For a character, you actually have things defined, such as an eye height. And we're going to look at that right here. So we're grabbing our player character, we're telling it to get the actor's eyes viewpoint, and then we're outputting it. Now my actor is using a spring arm, which you can see here, which is why our camera itself is slightly, eh, let's reset the camera to 60, which is why the values don't seem to quite correspond to what we're thinking. It's telling us it's giving us the actor's eye, which we'd expect to be around here, but our character is not rotated, but our viewport is. Well, that's because it's using the camera's rotation to determine the viewpoint rotation and using the character's location and its eye point, which we have marked down, I'll show you in a second, to determine the location. So for third party, it kind of doesn't really work well in terms of the rotation. You can always get the character's rotation, but for first person, it works pretty well. So let's grab our spring arm. Let's grab our character, actually, character, camera, drop it off of our spring arm and move our camera back to more like we'd expect it. So we'll put our camera right around here. And when we're playing this, we're kind of getting a little bit more of what we expect. Now, I don't have this thing set to use the pawn control rotation properly. Where is it at? Here we go. So that way, when we move it, it's going to lock it to the right here controller's rotation. Doo -doo -doo. So now we get what we expect when we turn it. And you'll notice we have values up here of Z of 182. Looking at the actor's information, we have a base eye height. This is the base eye height above collision center, set to 64. We set this to 0. You're going to notice our Z is now 118. We set it to something really high, like 400. Now we're going to have 518. Now our camera itself, it's obviously not 500 units in the air. However, the eye height, because it's asking our character where it's eye height, it's set, going to be set to the value that we tell it to use for the base eye height, and this is an offset. So if you leave it to the default, for our default character here, it's going to go to about roughly the eye height on this mesh. Obviously, if you have a different mesh, different collision size, you're going to want to adjust this. So that way, when you ask it for the eye information, the get actor's eye viewpoint, it's going to give you valid information on where it's at and its proper rotation. It's kind of a specific node. Again, takes in an actor, it could be a pawn, could be a character, or just a straight actor, and it gives you out the location and the rotation, and these things are adjusted, as you can see here. It doesn't necessarily mean the camera, but the eyes of the actor. So depending on your type, especially in the first person, that's going to be typically where your eyes are going to be, and where you might want to do things like line traces, and things like that. So use it with some caution. It is nice for things like AI. So that way you can actually see where the eye height is on your AI characters to see if maybe they can visibly see their targets or the enemy player. 